Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. And today we're going to be talking about the Throne Breaker. So since Kabam dropped the announcement of the Throne Breaker title, I've been getting a lot of different questions regarding whether or not you should rank up a six star champ to rank three just for this title. So in this video, I'm just going to give you my basic thought process on this. Now you may not agree with it and that is perfectly okay. Now I still don't like the idea of this being tied to rank ups and would have preferred it to be tied to 100%ing act six and abyss before the rank up requirement, but well, that's a different story. <laughs> so on the surface, this seems like a pretty easy question to answer, but honestly, it's not because there are a couple of different kind of rank ups, right? The first is that God tier that you want at rank three, right? You, it's Ghost, it's Corvus, it's Nick, etc. Now that is clearly going to be a yes. But then there is a rank up of champs who have, well, no real use in this game like Groot or Iron Package or Joe Fix-It. So then you have champs that you could, well, probably get some use out of that you don't use on a daily basis. You know, it's Rogue, Phoenix, Hawkeye, Darkhawk, et cetera. And, and these are even champs that you may rank two, but you really wouldn't necessarily want to rank three under normal circumstances. Even one that you just use on defense could fall into this category. You get some use, but it's not really substantial. Now, if you have a god tier, as mentioned er er earlier, excuse me, um, obviously you're gonna wanna rank three them, even if you have the 565 SIG 200 copy. Now, if the champ falls below what most would consider to be god tier, this is what I would do. I would wait for videos or, or posts on the forums to be posted regarding the rewards from, you know, the calendar, the crystals, etc. There are going to be Thronebreaker offers in the unit store. So if you're a big spender, a casual spender, or a free to play player, the value of the title is going to differ between these groups. So I would honestly, I would just sit back a month and look for information regarding the rewards or basically perks because Kabam has been very vague about the specificity of these perks for being a throne breaker. Now, after that, you could kind of gauge better if this title is valuable to you. If, say, being a spender will get you maybe, I don't know, one T5 CC a month between unit offers, the calendar, the store, then hey, yeah, I would pretty much rank up anyone just to get this title. Now, let's say you're a free to play player and between the calendar, crystals, etc., you get only an extra 10% of a T5 CC per month. Well, then I would not rank three a champ who I normally wouldn't. All this is, is honestly, it's cost versus benefit. So basically what I'm trying to say here is don't jump into anything prematurely when we really don't know what is coming. Now, I do want to mention one thing here is that if you're a heavy spender in regards to calf crystals, because you know, you're, I don't know, a champ monger, <laughs> then maybe getting this title would be advantageous to you. Also, the value of the throne breaker will go up. So you don't have to make a decision right away, i.e. Cyber Monday might come along with a bomb ass throne breaker deal. And honestly, you could wait until then to rank three a six star and get that sweet, sweet deal. Now, based off my streams, Twitter, Line, Discord, Instagram, etc., I've been getting a lot of questions regarding whether or not you should rank three a champ and a lot of frustrations regarding this topic. And I understand, trust me, I understand a lot of people are upset about the rank up requirements. Hey, I myself am one of them, but it's here and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere. So you know what, let's just, let's just go ahead and deal with it, right? And let's look at it in a realistic way on when to do it and how it will benefit my account or your account versus a negative emotional response. Let's just kind of sit back and take a minute. But anyways, guys, that's all that I got. Let me know in the comments below, do you think you should rank three a six star just for the throne breaker title? What do you think the perks of this title are going to be? 
Would you rank up a meme tier champ for this title? Let me know in the comments below and let's discuss. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more, please remember to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and hit me up in the Discord chat. Thanks, guys. Bye.